Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I want to talk about the Kaufold cross validation techniques. In the previous video I show you how we can perform uh, face recognition by using LBP and Hulk feature descriptors. As you remember we split our data set into two sections train set and validation set. For this purpose we use split each label function and we use randomize in order to select randomly different portion of the data set for training and the remaining one will be used for testing. In this example I use 60% of the images for training and 40% for test. But there is a problem. Whenever you run this code, since the selection of the training set and test set uh, will be performed in a random way, the accuracy of your system will be changed every time that you run your program. For example, I run this code for five, four or five times. As you can see, the accuracy varies 91% to 90, from 90 to 90. 3% for example. Let me run it again. Okay, this time the accuracy is 93.75% and 10 images are incorrectly recognized as the incorrect subject. For example, an image of the subject 6 recognized as the identity S23 or subject 23. This is another one. We have 10 misrecognized samples and this is also a randomly selected 20 images that I uh, display in the beginning of the code. As you can see some of the samples belong to the same subject, for example these two samples, but most of them are belongs to different subjects. I display this uh, 20 uh, images by these five lines. In order to solve this problem, we use Kaufold cross validation technique. In this method, we divide the data set into ka disjoint uh, subsets and then we select uh, ka minus one subset for training the model and then the remaining one will be used for test the model. Let me explain the idea of car fold cross validation by one example. Assume that we have a training set and we divide it into 10 different and disjoint uh, subsets. Every time we select one of these subsets as test set and the remaining will be used for training. So 9 out of 10 subsets will be used for training and the remaining one will be used for testing. Train a model and test the performance in the first experiment and compute the accuracy of this experiment. Assume that this is E1. Then we repeat this operation nine times and this time we select another fold for test and the remaining ones for training conduct an, uh, another experiment, experiment E2, and find the corresponding performance. And repeat this operation totally 10 times, and find the performance of this experiment, E1, E2, E3, till E10, and then get the average of these 10 experiment and report it as the performance of the system. Let's see how we can do it on the MATLAB. Assume that I want to perform five-fold cross validation. Here, by using the same function, split each label, I can divide the image data store into several portions. Since I want to perform uh, five-fold cross validation, the percentage of each fold will be 20%. So 20% of the images will be stored in IMD1 image data start 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then 
I store the files of each of these uh, different data stores into part stores uh, cell array. So the first image data store files will be stored in part stores index 1 and the next one will be stored in the part stores index 2, 3, till 5. After that, we use a cross validation function to generate some uh, cross validation indices. After that, we should repeat the experiment car times. So we use a for loop here for for index i from 1 to k. I select some of the, uh, uh, one fold for the test and the remaining one will be select for terrain. So I create a new image data store, image data store validation by selecting the corresponding part stores which is related to the test index and for the training I should concatenate all of the data stores to each other and use the concatenation of these data stores for training. So for this purpose we use concatenate array function. So all of the remaining ones will be concatenated to each other and we create an image data store for, from them and put it in the IMDS tray. The size of them will be compute and stored in these variables. Then we perform the first iteration. So we train a model and test the performance. Here we find the closest feature vector to the current test feature vector. And if the label of these two feature vectors are the same, it means that the uh, test subject recognized correctly. Otherwise, we uh, uh, increase one unit to the incorrect counter. And all of this operation will be performed car times. A loop is here from 924 till this point. I compute the accuracy for each fold and also print the number of incorrect recognized samples and the accuracy of each time or each iteration. And finally, we find the average of this accu these accuracies and print it as the system performance. Let me run it. So as you can see in the iteration number one, the accuracy of the system was 98%. In the next one is the same. In the third one, the accuracy decreased to 97%. And the overall system accuracy is 98.25. This accuracy achieved by LVP feature descriptors. Let me change it to hook.
as you can see the overall system performance is 95 percent so it means that the lbp feature descriptor works better in face recognition than hope